Hi people, it's Ellie here and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. So I feel at vlogging. <laughs> um, it's, I know these vlogs aren't very interesting for you guys and I'm sorry about that. Um, but this is literally just my daily life. Um, but in a couple days I will be home and I'll be able to do more things and they'll get a lot more interesting, I promise. Um, yeah, but for right now, I think it's, yeah, it's a little afternoon and I'm just watching Sakoni Jolie vlogs because <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> I, oh gosh, I'm like so obsessed. Um, but yeah, so this morning I just did really boring things that weren't really necessary to vlog, like doing the dishes, taking out the trash, um, eating breakfast, stuff like that. Um, I don't know how interesting today will be, because I'm not really doing anything, <laughs> but I'll try and make it as interesting as possible for you guys. You can barely see me. Okay, so what happens when I don't have the light on. Anyway, um, I just watched Phil's You Now, and I totally forgot to film any of it, um, so sorry. But right now, I'm going back to watching old Sakoni Jolie vlogs. What date am I on? I'm on June 1st of 2013. Um, yeah, I've been in the process of rewatching them for like half a year now. Um, it just takes a while, because all the vlogs are like 15 minutes long, <laughs> so... Yeah, but I I enjoy watching them. I love the kind of Um But yeah, so I'm just gonna be watching more of this. Like I said, a boring day. So I just spent the last half hour or so um, working on homework, and one of the assignments I had to do for English was to look at this website, um, and it's supposed to be um, some kind of text. And we had pretty much just to find the story in it. Um, the question we had was, um, what do you make of this text? Why is it called plain text performance? What do you think? Um, what do you think about it? Uh, you may have spent a few minutes looking at it to um, figure out exactly what the language means to you. Um, and I'm just gonna switch the camera and show you exactly what this is. Um, it's literally just this random text um, and the longer it's played you'll soon see images in it and it's supposed to tell some kind of story apparently according to my professor. Um, I was never quite sure what it was but I will leave a link to it in the description if you want to look at it closer for yourself. But basically I just wanted to tell you guys this because um, what I took from it is something that I believe for most everything um, we read, so I wanted to read you um, what my answer was to this question in response to viewing um, plain text performance. Um, quite honestly, I really don't like this text. There may be a point to it, but it does it was my voice. Um, there, may be, there may be a point to it, but I wasn't about to spend an entire day trying to figure it out, especially since I know I still won't understand it. What I took from it was nonsense. It was a compilation of words that seemingly could be part of a story, but the computer messed them up, so now it is unreadable. It's almost like a hacker went in and messed around with the story. Instead of clearly stating something about the princess and a man wanting to leave his wife, they threw in art made of random keyboard characters and took out chunks of the story so you couldn't understand what was happening. Scrolling if it will scroll. <laughs> if I had to choose, if I had to choose what this is about, I'd probably assume there is no story in the sense that we all think of. Maybe the creator just wanted to show people that sometimes, no matter how hard we look, there just isn't anything more to the plain text in front of you. That not everything we read can be fully understood or has a hidden meaning behind it. We just expect a piece of writing and we just expect a piece of writing to have a hidden message when really all you have to do is take it for face value. 
writing isn't putting something on mm, writing isn't always putting on a performance for the reader's amusement sometimes it really is just plain text with no purpose right so that's what i wrote um sorry about the stumbling it's difficult to read on my laptop <laughs> um so pretty much um if you didn't understand what i said um you know how in english classes um, you'll be reading a book and something will come like, oh, this character had blue curtains in their room, so that means they're depressed. Um, they're always looking into that hidden meaning of stories. And I'm a firm believer that that is not the case. Um, I'm a writer and I know if my character has blue curtains in their room, they just have blue curtains. It doesn't mean they're depressed. It might just mean the favorite color is blue or my favorite color is blue or just that blue will look best in that room that I'm envisioning. There isn't always a hidden meaning behind everything that you read. And that I took that opinion and I put it onto this text post because essentially to me, it is nothing but gibberish. Um, yeah, so I, I know a lot of my friends feel the same way, that we get really upset when people look more into books than they actually are. Because I feel like you should just appreciate a book for what it is on paper and what you take from it yourself not looking into the psychological depths of the book because nine times out of ten the author didn't write it for that reason i don't know anyway i'd like to know your thoughts on all this um what are your opinions on reading into books or do you just like them for face value like i do i think that could start a very interesting conversation also, like I said, if you want to look at the plain text performance in more depth, I'll leave a link in the description box, so go check it out. And I encourage you to, it's literally just text that keeps scrolling automatically um, for quite a long time. And you can look at it and try and find something in it that I maybe didn't, but I'd be interested to see what you guys think. I am supposed to be doing homework, but I'm not, obviously. Um, I've just been in that constant state of daydream for I don't even know how long now. <laughs> like, it's getting bad. Um, since the last clip I shot, which was quite a while ago, I've just been daydreaming, really, and like watching videos or listening to music, but not really paying attention, just daydreaming. So it's not very productive. Um, the homework I have to do is for a group project, and I told my group member that I would have it done today, but it's not. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and do some later tonight and get it up tomorrow morning for her, but I'm just not on the plus side. My hair is looking quite nice. You can't see it, but <laughs> it's looking quite nice. It's that perfect kind of wave that I like. That's not quite curls, but it's definitely not straight. I like it. You can't tell, but I like it. I've been sitting here, um, reading. I finally picked up uh, The Blood of Olympus by Rick Ryden, the last book in the Percy Jackson Heroes of Olympus series. Um, and I just wanted to vlog to say that I'm only one chapter in, but I was so confused to start with because I was convinced that um, the last book um, ended the way that Mark of Athena ended. If you know what I mean, I'm trying to be cryptic because I don't want to give away spoilers. But I was so convinced that the end of Mark of Athena was the end of House of Hades that <laughs> when I started the first chapter of this book, I was so unbelievably confused. So I just like reread the summary, or read the summary of House of Hades, and I didn't remember any of that book. Like I definitely read it, <laughs> but I didn't remember any of it. I don't know. Anyway, um, this book is quite massive, uh, but I am <laughs> very much looking forward to getting it over with. That probably sounds harsh. Um, I loved the first five books in the Percy Jackson series. Um, 
I like I I didn't necessarily grow up reading them, um, but I read them at a time when they were all out. So I just like marathoned them. I think maybe like the first four were out, um, but I marathoned them. And I love them. I love the story because I love mythology. But when the Heroes of Olympus came out, um, I wasn't really liking it. And the story just got too complex. Um, but I wanted to continue with the story because all my friends were continuing and my brother was continuing. And I wanted to continue because I liked Percy. I liked Annabeth. Um, but I'm not really liking the Heroes of Olympus series. Um, and since this is the last book, I didn't want to stop at book 9 and not read it book 10 so I'm finally getting around to reading this book and we'll see if I like it I guess but anyway I'm gonna read one more chapter of this and go to bed because it's 10 o'clock at night um so I'm gonna end today's vlog here if you liked it please make sure to give it a like if you like and subscribe and that's it so I'm gonna go and I'll see you tomorrow for a new vlogmas bye